Hello, good day, my glorious families. I welcome you to today's chapter of the day. So today's chapter is in the book of Job, chapter 32. And let's quickly see what happened in 31. In 31, in chapter 31, Job continued to respond to his three friends and talking and complaining to God. He told God that how he wished that God could answer him. Like I said earlier, I said the reason Job was nagging was because he was not hearing anything from God. He was in trouble and God was not saying a word. And that can get anyone, of course, worried. So now in chapter 31, by the end of 31, he was done talking. He spoke for, I think, about four chapters. He was busy talking and talking because his friends were not making anything easier. So now in chapter 32, let's see who responded this time. So these three men seized these three men ceased answering Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Mm. Then the wrath of Elihu, son of Barachel, the both sides of the family of Ram, was aroused against Job. His wrath was aroused because he justified himself rather than God. So to them, they believed that Job was proving himself to be the righteous man because he kept recounting of all his goodness, everything he had done rightly that why would god be doing this to him even though he has been sinless and this thing is what god does not really want from us so um when it comes to you justifying yourself counting how good you have been uh from the book of job i've learned that that is not what god wants from us no matter how we think we are you know innocent we don't have to tell God that. We just have to keep appreciating God for what God is doing. Um, God himself already justified Job, but unfortunately Job did not know about it. So I think it's better for us to inquire from God what is going on whenever we are in the dark, like everything is dark. We can't hear God and yet things are not you know, working our ways. It's better to inquire from God or better still, just ask for mercy. That's the best thing. So to Job's friends, he's trying to justify himself as a righteous man instead of giving glory to God for who he is. He says also against his three friends, his wrath was aroused because they had found no answer and yet had condemned Job. And that is true. So let's continue. He said, now because they were years older than he, Elihu, who had waited to speak to Job, when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of <laughs> these three men, his wrath arose, was arose. So Elihu, the son of Barachel, the Bosite, answered and said, I am young in years, and you are very old. Therefore, I was afraid, and dared not declare my opinion to you. I said, age should speak and multitude of years should teach wisdom so do you think age actually spoke <laughs> from job's three friends no i don't think age so age spoke their ages did not really matter here because they all were miserable in comforting job so i'm trying to sketch that place out then it says but there is spirit there is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Great men are not always wise, nor do the aged always understand justice. Therefore, I say, listen to me. I also, I also will declare my opinion. Indeed, I waited for your words. Mm. I listened to your reasonings while you searched out what to say. I paid close attention to you, and surely not one of you convinced Job or answered his words. Least you say... Okay, lest you say we have found wisdom. God will, van God will vanquish him, not man. Now he has not directed his words against me. So I will not answer him with your words. They are dismayed and answer no more. Words escape them. And I, will, and I have waited because they did not speak. Because they stood still and answered no more. I also will answer my part. I too will declare my opinion. For I am full of words. The spirit within me compels me. Indeed, my belly is like wine that has no vent. <laughs> and it will burst off. Imagine you put wine inside the bottle. <laughs> you shake it and there is so much, you know, so much foam that want to burst out. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yet there is no space. 
by the time it will burst off, it will be too bad. It is ready to burst like new wine skins. I will speak that I may find relief. I must open my lips and answer. Let me not, I pray, show partiality to anyone, nor let me flatter any man, for I do not know how to flatter, else my maker will soon take me away. So guess what? I'm putting you in suspense. In chapter 33, Elihu, the son of Barachel, spoke. What did he tell Job? Watch out for chapter 33 or you go and read it by yourself. <laughs> I love you all. i see you again in the next chapter. God bless you. But seriously, before we go, what do you think? Do you think Job was right by recounting everything he has done? If you ask me, I will say no. He didn't do anything wrong by challenging God. Father, Lord, I didn't do this. Father, Lord, I've been, I've been nice. I've been good. I've been, you know, he recounted everything he has done. And I don't see anything wrong in that. The only thing wrong in that is that he, maybe because of the multitude of words, that made him to now be, he, he, he appeared to be, you know, to be praising himself or he appeared to be self-righteous. I mean, how would I put it? Like he, he, he made himself to be over-righteous. Like he, seen, he, he was beginning to see himself as a man without sin. But in the real sense of it, the fact that we were born of the flesh had not made us to be without sin. We are with sin. We are already with sin. It's just that we have to keep doing cleansing and cleansing. I mean, as at then. But now, the, um, the blood of the Lamb, which was Jesus Christ, had cleansed us automatically. But as at that time, during the Old time, Old Testament time, they had to do a lot of sacrifices and cleanse themselves and burnt offerings upon burnt offerings. So, the fact that he was giving himself the praises was the only way he he became a sin like he, he trans transgressed or let me say iniquity Inequ iniquities are like shortcomings so he, he he fell into iniquity because of that but still god still had mercy on him because when god was speaking to him guess what god said watch out for everything okay so tomorrow we reach chapter 33 god bless you i see you again so like i said please let me know do you think job later sin even though god said he was a sinless man with all this multitude of words what do you think was he supposed to say that or not did he commit sin or not i love you all. i see you again bye we have